Let's continue working on our terrain and we to the point assign a basic texture into this. So cube, which represent our water. And we actually can go ahead and disable this one. So it won't be an hour scenery. We'll come back to the water a little bit later when we start working on the texture for the water. But usually that will be almost the last step. I don't want influence too much or take um, kind of render power away on the previews when we add transparency. So let's go open our texture and we can do in materials by double tap clicking on our materials and it's open in advanced material editor. So if you are in a basic mode, just click on this button that says advanced material editor. And now we in area where we have way more properties we can work with. Okay, because it is forest ground, my base color, I want to do like a ground. So it's a brownish color. And we go select secondary color, brown. And the first one will go maybe even darker brown like this be sure we'll check this box use it two colors you can see it's already have a very nice base for us where we can apply more elements on top the other things what i want to do even our camera setup actually i want to duplicate so we can right click and say copy right click and paste and you can see we have two cameras main zero new camera we created in our main camera. So I will create, select main camera by double tap click the new ones that we created, this one. And I'll take this camera and put it up and look down. So I want to preview my terrain, how it will look overall, but I still have it preset for my main camera, how I want to render. So this way we'll use it for the materials. We can see easier distribution of them. Okay, when we're done this, let's go back to our terrain. We'll open Material Editor again to preview. And right now I want to add sand to the bottom. So it's as a base where the river going. We'll go create a new layer. Let's call it sand. And for the sand, we're going to also use a natural grain. Only our two colors will be more yellowish as a sand color. We select one, we'll select second. Maybe leave it lighter, yellowish kind of. And we'll do this one lighter. So we want we don't want necessarily exactly the same, but we want to have it leave it more sand look. We'll pop up roughness. You can see it's add more sparkles to this or comments. Let's pop up distortion, oh, maybe too much. I can't too. Overall, I'm looking on this. So elements on the sand kind of spread nicely. Uh, as a bump, let's go with procedurals and we're going open and create terrain fractal. It is very strong for my taste so we'll go to select 0 0.2 just enough have it these bumps done on a sand it is creating quite a bit large dots you can even see in a preview so let's reduce scale to 0 1 or we can just type 0.1 okay and that will decrease slightly our um, elements so it makes smaller noise we could also go inside the terrain and modify there as well. But I think that is look good. So I think it's time to preview. We have a preview, render to screen, 40. And right here, this is will be our sand applied. But right now, sand applied through everything. We want constraint just to the area on the bed. For this one, we'll need to go inside the presence. And in this area, we want to take our altitude range and decreasing. This is easy to see right now, but if you have materials that look very close, remember you can always go select and enable highlighter. And in this case, you can just see with highlighter what distribution for this. 
Well, as we enable highlighter, we continue using this. So I will bring a little bit down more. To kind of right there was a too much. Bring back up around there. And also on the top, we'll bring a little bit as in it. So it won't be. You can see how it adds the leaks a little bit. So it's add nicer effect. Okay, I think that's good. Look good. We'll disable our um, marker or highlighter. And right there, we have it our basic sand going right there and our cliffs. Um, next, I want to add maybe some other elements to the edge right here with the sand. Uh, maybe even add like rocky kind of look elements. So to do this, we'll create new layer. Let's call this um, rocks. And this rocks will go into same color. We'll go select natural grain. And actually, I want to select black rock here and white. So kind of like mix on almost. Same, we can increase roughness on this. And same as before, we want to place them like on the edge that helping us uh, because sand wash out but the rocks still be on the edges so we'll go to let's go first highlight and actually bring a bit shiny and a bit brighter so we have a kind of more effect on this same with the bumps we'll go to use the procedural bumps for this open and we can use grain and fractal grain it granite maybe work a little bit better for us and 0 0.1 on the depth so just a little bit add, I maybe will increase more, but we'll see afterwards. Okay, now, now we can go in a presence and right here we can modify. First off, I don't want to go on the river a little bit. So I'm going from the sand, bring around here. And from the top, same, we'll bring closer. We have it like one small line almost going. We can bring a little bit higher up, maybe too much, a little bit less. And we'll go add fuzziness on the top and bottom. So it's kind of start blending between two of those. You know, the highlights may be too much. Let's bring it down. This way, highlight it. Okay. And other things, it's going 100% that I don't necessarily want it. So I'm going to um, take alpha boost and reduce alpha boost. So it will just add small coloring, but not overwhelm. Okay, let's click and preview and you can see right here we have this kind of colors slightly adding. Remember, we'll add more and more elements to this, so we'll okay. Uh, next, let's add some grass um, to the other layer. We'll go again, create a new, let's call, call it grass. Okay. And as a grass, actually I want to open one that come with Vu. And as default ones, they're actually very good. And I like this one, vegetation or orange rock. So we'll go click on the vegetation, so it's one from there. And both layers replacing. So yeah, with alpha, we can replace that one. And you can see right here, we have our kind of grassy look. Uh, first, let's go to highlights and we'll just take it off on the highlights. We don't want to mess this. Next, we want, okay, so as we're going, we want to also increase, let's pop up, it's 50 right now, so we want to bring a little bit more up, maybe around zero, okay, and let's go to presence and remove from the river, so around, maybe right here, we have it brownish, okay, and bottom, so we'll increase blending on this level okay also material we can set to one set 13 so it will add effect to this let's go ahead and click on render preview and i don't necessarily like this area to remove we need also we can remove from the edges by um working on the slope range so if we bring slope range to 40 percent you can see how it's cut off right around there and that's what we wanted 
So maybe even more to create this area. And we want to add a little bit of fuzziness on the tip so it's going to remove this area. Okay, I think that's a look. Okay, for now let's preview. And you can see we have our kind of grassy cover. We have it brownish sand and right in this area. So I think it's kind of look okay. Let's go click on this okay, switch to our main camera. And I want to render as a final in a preview so we can see what we have it. Okay, and right there we have it a nice cover. I think we're good. We can go now start working on a little bit on our um, water, or oh, not water, sorry, on the ecosystem. And let me render one more time with uh, actually water in there. And we can bring this water a little bit higher if needed, but overall you can see sandbag going around. So I think we're good. We can start working on populating some rocks in those areas and um, later we'll add plants and other things we'll do another tutorial so remember always go in and save your work as you're going along and also save other steps if you think you will need to come back afterwards